Hello, mob hopping. This is the new challenge set by Ed Case for the Creators Guild. This was my first ever attempt at it. Basically what it's about is you come flying down from the sky wearing elytra and you try to punch a mob and then you go up again and you punch a different mob and so on and see how many you can get in succession and if there's a tie you can take your game time and uh, separate people like that. Well, that's the way it was intended. Um, this first run shows you that it is not without its risks. Okay, we're coming down from the sky like a meteor. There's some pigs. And you die. <laughs> right, okay, we try again. Mob hopping, take two. Um, yes, we've got a little data pack Ed's created which gives you a, the initial items and night vision and um, there's a, a fishing rod thingy or is it a carrot on a stick? Um, some kind of, yes, yeah, fishing rod isn't it? And that you you left, no you right click it to make yourself teleport up into the air and you can also use it to punch animals with mobs let's let's call it mobs right so i'm i'm coming down rather slowly this time trying to make sure that i don't explode in a, a sheet of nothingness or carrots exploding in a sheet of carrots and we're going to make our first victim sheep okay number one the sheep and i've been kind of exploring the area a bit and trying to work out what is around so here we go I've seen some pigs I'm gonna go for those there's a village over there isn't there right coming in gently as the sun sets drift down to the unsuspecting porker boink number two a pig and up we go again instantly yeah, that village is interesting, but as Ed showed in his announcement video, yeah, it's it's got some problems. Villagers tend to hide, and doors cannot be opened so easily. Right. Oh, I'm ashamed of this one a bit. A bit. Horses? Who punches horses? <coughs> eh. Number three, a horse. And away we go. The darkened mark masked assassin D rises into the night sky and the horse never knew what it was that hit it right now I believe there were some chickens nearby but I'm already beginning to have those problems where you can't remember which mobs you've punched and which ones you haven't there is a chicken but actually I've been distracted <gasps> punch a donkey we did not like that. But that's enough. There's four different mobs got punched. And now we've got some bad guys beginning to emerge now that the sun is down. Uh, I can already see a few bad ones down there. Look, if we try to get a mob that's on its own, then that's obviously going to be a lot better for us because we're completely unprotected. Here's a zombie who appears to be on his own in a field. Ouch. <laughs> he managed to hit me though, didn't he? But that's five done. A zombie. I need to get a bit of eating done to heal up. So I'm coming down more slowly this time. Waiting for my hunger bar to drop enough for me to be able to eat. Right. There's a desert. It's, this was always quite a good start location because we've got the desert and the plains. Um, you could get a lot worse. You could get ones where terrain is very difficult to cross. Um, but this one, you've, you've also got the special... Oh, here we go. Spider next. Spider number six. Yes, you've got all the things like... Well, you've got husks, basically. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> But, um, yeah, if you, if you had an icy biome, I imagine you'd, you'd get strays as well, wouldn't you? And there are a few other places where you could find specific and different ones, right? 
Let's try and take a risk. Oh, I, I, I toyed with the idea of going for the for the creeper, but no, decided on a skeleton instead. That didn't really, well, didn't take much damage. It was such, such a trivial bit of damage that uh, it healed itself up almost instantly with the, the power of the golden carrots. Here we go. I'm beginning to get used to this now. Oh, right, but this, ouch, ouch. Right, but I did manage to punch the, the one at the back, the husk. Yeah, don't go for mobs that are in a cluster. It's really, it's a lot of punishment you take for trying to do that kind of thing. Right, time to eat up again. There's interesting things like that ruined portal, but not part of this challenge. I don't think that helps you at all. Now, I've completely forgotten which mobs I've not punched. <laughs> and there's some... Oh, this is dangerous. I'll stop. Right, a creeper! Okay, you really don't want to stay too close to a creeper after you've punched it. Um, yes, I haven't got the ordinary mobs of a cow or a chicken yet. Uh, I could easily have added another couple without danger to myself. Okay, what do we go for next? Flying around. Who's going to be chosen? Oh, I've seen some squid. There's some squid in there. Now, squid are a little bit more of a problem than I thought. This one goes and hides in the in the reeds. Punch. So, number ten, a squid. And off we go. Flying around. Who's left? What's left to do? I'm sure as I play this more and more, I'll begin to find a way of, of having a mental note of, of all the mobs. I need little stickers on the side of my aircraft. Say say who my victims have been. Who can you get? Ah, I've seen someone. <laughs> Punch an Enderman. This is foolhardy. There's now a really seriously pissed off Enderman running around <laughs> down there. <laughs> Will he forget? Will he ignore me? Will he despawn? Which one is he? Right, I've decided to go for something slightly different. Notice I've moved my my hand. All right, wake up, sir. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Right, I'll break his bed. Yes, I got a villager. <laughs> That's right. Number twelve, a villager. And now I really am reaching the limits of my memory and um, short-term memory problems. Uh, what have I punched and what have I not punched? What can I find? I'm really worried. Everything looks very normal and familiar. But I've just seen a rabbit. There's a rabbit. There's a rabbit. Run after him. Yes, I think that was within 15 seconds easily, wasn't it? So, a rabbit. And now I'm thinking of... Let's go out into the sea and see if we can punch a few fish. <laughs> there might be some fish out here. But they're so small. They're so difficult to see. I, I can't see anything down there. What's that? Oh, squid. Now I've already done a squid. Oh, oh, it's all gone wrong. That is the end of it. And after a certain delay, I even managed to take the game time. <laughs> but it's uh, quite a lot later. 9623 is the game time. But, yes, that was my second attempt and in fact my first full length attempt i'll be back for more thank you for watching bye bye